Hey creatives, Maggie here from My Design Coach, where I help you design smarter and more professionally from the very first click. Today we're talking about something simple but powerful, margins. If you've ever printed a design and had content cut off or sitting way too close to the edge, you already know why margins matter. As we know, Illustrator does not offer a quick margin setup like we see in other programs like InDesign. But in this video, I'm gonna show you two effective quick methods for making precise margins in Adobe Illustrator, as well as how to manage your margins so that they stay in place. Let's walk through how to set up clean, consistent margins in Illustrator so your work looks polished, aligned, and print ready. So first things first, when you're creating margins, you need rulers. Command R is the shortcut or view rulers show. I'm going to go ahead and hit that shortcut, Command R. The first way that I'm going to show you how to create margins is to manually drag out guides from your rulers. To be precise on our margins, we're going to want to select view, snap to grid. When we click in a ruler and we start dragging out a guide, it will snap in place. So for this instance, let's say we wanted to make half inch margins. So I can easily drag and drop at half inch and I can do the same thing here. If you're having a hard time putting that in place, you can drag and let go with the margin selected, go up to the control panel along the top and on the X axis, we wanna type in the number that we want. Our document is eight and a half inches. We want it to be half an inch less so we can even do math right here which is helpful eight and a half minus 0.5 and it will go ahead and drop that margin in place horizontal would be the same way we can just drag that down and this time in the y-axis we just make sure that says half inch looks like I got it right on I can go ahead and drag this down this documents 11 inches so this time I'm gonna go ahead and just type in 10.5 instead of doing the math and there I have margins in place Please note that you can also type in these numbers in your properties panel. Here we see the X and the Y axis, and we can also click on our transform tool. And this also gives us the X and Y axis where we can type in where we want that location of the guide to be. So in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to manage these guides. I'm gonna click on my layers and I'm gonna type in guides. I don't have any art yet in my document, so everything here is on my guides layer, and I can just lock those down, create a new layer, and this is gonna be my artwork or my text or whatever it might be. So now I can no longer select those guides, so they're stationary, and I know that all important pieces of text and information is going to be within this space here. This outer edge is then my margin space. All right, let's move on to option two. If you're like me, you like a clean area to work. I personally do not like all the guides outside my workspace area. This feels a little messy for me, so I prefer a little different method when creating guides. I like a visual, not just blue lines going across, but an actual visual within the document. A little less going on outside, a little cleaner, and focused on the inside. I'm going to make a new layer here and drop it down below, and this is also going to be a guide, but option two. I'm going to create a rectangle, and my rectangle is going to be eight and a half by 11. So the same exact size as my document. And I'm just gonna drop it right in there, right up in that corner there. And I'm gonna go ahead and give that a black stroke for now. Next, I'm gonna go to Object, Path, Offset Path. And with our offset path, we're gonna give this whatever size margin we want. If I wanted, let's say a half inch margin, if I put in a half an inch, it's actually gonna go outside my document. So let me show you what that looks like. There's a half inch, but I'm gonna go ahead and go back to object path, offset path. And this time we're gonna set it to a negative half and say, okay. And now I have a nice clean margin without all the lines on the outside of my artboard, but we're not done yet. This is actually a shape versus a margin. I'm going to click on my margin and I'm going to go to view guides make guides and now it's created a guide out of that. I'm going to come back to my layers and make sure I'm on the right layer and I can lock that down so I don't accidentally move it around. So you might be asking when should I use margins and the simple answer is always absolutely always. Margins are key for all and if you're sending files to print margins and bleeds are essential for clean cuts and zero surprises. I'll make sure to record another video to talk more about the importance of margins. And that's it. Our margins are in place and your design has the breathing room it deserves. If this was helpful, give the video a like and subscribe for more Illustrator tutorials made for creative minds just like yours. And until next time, keep designing responsibly and don't forget to respect the margins. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was helpful, give it a like so I know to keep making more like it.
And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you never miss a new tip. If you have a video request or topic you're stuck on, drop it in the comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'm also working on something really exciting, a complete college curriculum, industry-focused, online design education program built just for creatives like you. Whether you're brand new, growing your skills, or working towards a career in design, this will be your go-to resource. You'll be learning from a college professor, that's me, and the program will cover beginner through advanced skills, real-world projects, portfolio building, and options for feedback and support, like having a design mentor right in your pocket. It'll be subscription-based with flexible tiers depending on the level of support that you're looking for. Check out My Design Coach, link in the description, for updates and early access. In the meantime, there's plenty more to explore here on the channel, so stick around, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video.